and uh, you interpret the song. Uh, an actor will will look at a script, and, it, and it'll come out five different ways with five different actors. Uh, you know, if somebody's doing something classic, like we're covering some classic songs, I don't think, I don't think that copy in the record. You, then you have a piece of wax fruit when you bite into it, you know? It's like not real. So you have to bring uh, yourself into it, whatever you're doing. Uh, you know, I have that, a fab, the Fab Faux Band where we bring the Beatles songs to the stage where we put ourselves into it too and we don't wear wigs and suits. I can't imagine uh, wearing a, a, you know, a plastic nose and, uh, and speaking with a liver pud, but I can imagine playing the music and bringing myself into it. And these guys too, and I say, if I send them, and I just see, now we have YouTube, so I just, I send them like 40 songs each on YouTube. Learn, learn Four, these songs. 44. Yeah, 44. Learn these songs, but, but, you know, know how they go, but don't play them like that. Play like you play. So uh, it was th that experiment, that worked tonight. Uh, these weren't arrangements as much as a, a three, a, a, a conversation between three people. We're the East Coast Blue Soul Rockers, and you're watching the extended play sections. Uh, you're in it, actually, so give yourselves a hand. You're part of this session. You're as big a part as we are. Jesse Williams over here on bass. Mark Teixeira on drums. I'm Jimmy Vivino. And uh, this first song is called Fat Man. Now, and it was okay to say that when this song was written. It was written by Derek Morgan, who is a reggae cat, from a ska musician from Jamaica. And uh, we readapted it recently, and uh, I like it.
She's a one man girl A one man girl alone One man girl One man girl alone If you steal my girlfriend You gonna leave me by myself all alone one of my favorite bands I, called The Meters that uh, I had the pleasure to see in, 
in a little club in Algiers in 1974. Uh, we took a ferry over, and it was exotic, man, to get, take this ferry over to Algiers and go into this totally wooden kind of barn sort of situation. And uh, <clears throat> there were these guys, tr truly the Black Beatles up there uh, from New Orleans. The Neville brothers, they were like... Uh, there were two Neville brothers in the band. It was, it was Aaron Neville, uh, no, I'm sorry, Ivan Neville and Cyril Neville, George Porter, Leo Nocentelli, and Ziggy Modeleste. And, uh, and I loved Leo. Leo's a good friend of mine now. And, uh, you know, that's the wonder, wonder of people stepping out of your record collection into your life. And they, and they end up being as hip as you thought they were. And uh, Leo would just start. So cool, just... Then George would come in on his bass. Ziggy, have one more cigarette while this is going on. And bust that! For you know it Love slip up on you <laughs> yeah. For you know it Say it again Talking about Love slip up on you For you know it Mean. Love slip up on you For you know it For you realize Y'all be hypnotized For you organize You gonna be surprised Talking about love slip up on ya For you know it Talking about love slip up on ya Yeah For you know it Who 
give your loving to her Boy, you said a day Better get things straight, y'all Boy, you said a day Mightn't be too late Talking about love slip up on ya Boy, you know it Love slip up on ya Boy, you know it
sweet thing when you know you got somebody by your side that would never let you down. When your friends turn their back on you too, should be right there by your side to walk with you. I'm 63 now. When I was a kid, and I was lucky to be around when, you know, Cream were playing and and go and see those guys and and watch them deconstruct the record that they made. Because you, like you said about the blues, when you said about oh, but the kids, this is how we feel because we would hear a song like "Sunshine of Your Love" the single and go ah, it's kind of just like it's so controlled. And then you go see them live and they play the song and in the middle this shit would happen. And it's called jazz. It's like John Coltrane. They were everybody was influenced at that time yeah. by Miles and Coltrane. And you know the idea with jazz to take the head, but bam 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 that, and then to go. And then when you're done with your your like sort of just conversation, you go back to the head and close it out. So it's a sandwich. The the song is a sandwich for this this luscious thing in the middle that everybody that's just a dance and a conversation. And sometimes you fall and you get up. You know, sometimes the other guy picks you up. <laughs> you know? You hope. Sometimes you hope. <laughs> and then there's always the drummer. You just got to wear him out. <laughs>
slaughterhouses, killing hogs, twisted children, killing frogs, poor dumb rednecks are rolling logs, child old lady a kissing dog. I hate the human love of that stinking mess. I can't use it, trying to make it real compared to what. His war. Folks don't know just what it's for. Nobody gives us a rhyme or reason. Have one doubt, they call it treason. We're chicken feathers all without one cut. God damn it. Trying to make it real compared to what? Trying to 
make it real compared to what? wrong with my little machine oh yeah something getting wrong with my little machine I try to start up in the morning she got a standard carburetor but I believe that little girl burned some bad gasoline.
road Come the junk old pond Boy, he would load it As he can be Boy, he would knock down Knock down, load it He wobbled All over the street Saying that six months Ain't no sentence Ponderosa Serving nine to ninety-nine Down the road, down the road Come the junk old potter He was loaded As he can be He was knocked out Down in the alley You know he wobbled If I had, if I had, if I had, had one million dollars, just one million to call my own, I would buy me land around Paris prison. I would throw me a big moose bomb. Mr. Jones, woo boy, Mr. Mark Teixeira back there, mixing up the second line. If a penny make a nickel, if a nickel make a dime. Well, a dime I'll make you half a dollar Make you holler All the 
encounters with Bob Dylan I think just to just to to be insulted by Bob Dylan is that's bigger than Rickles you know <laughs> so you know it's it's a great thing to be in the room and to be in the room and Bob Dylan comes across the room to say hello to you and then to realize he just wants to get away from those people he's talking to <laughs> so to be the to be the beard in that situation <laughs> yeah let's get out of here man you know <laughs> and it's you know it doesn't matter uh, like I said he if you, anything you expect, and he knows the audience is coming to expect it to be a certain way, and he's still trying to open your head to the fact that, and like we talked, it's the blues still. It doesn't go that way. It goes whichever way it goes that day. <laughs>
sickness Got the doctor too In the time of the influenza You remember he surely was a friend to you Treated like a human being on this train Bound for glory now this train This train bound for glory now this train This train bound for glory now this train This train This train And that's the truth We're going to do a song by the poet of the blues Percy Mayfield, 
He wrote Hit the Road Jack and, and a lot of other great songs, but he was really a, one of the poets of the blues and, and wrote these songs in the late 40s and 50s, and Ray Charles did a lot of them. And uh, this one's, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a deep song, but we, I like playing it. I get it. How do you work this thing? <laughs> I'm laying here wondering which way to go. My baby left me like she did before. I'm so confusing. I'm so alone. I can't live without my baby Still my baby's gone I got up early one morning About the break of day I saw the taxi When it pulled away had my baby I'm so alone I can't live without my baby Still my baby gone I'm going down to the river and go out with the tide without my baby life is suicide I can't continue in this world all alone I can't live without my baby Still my baby gone My baby gone
I want to take a minute to talk about, uh, I, I said before, when the people step out of your record collection into your life, and, uh, and, they, and they're just as wonderful as you thought, uh, and even if they're not, it doesn't hurt their records. So, you know, you can meet somebody on their worst day and then walk away thinking the wrong thing, or you may be right. But uh, it might have been you, too, never, don't, remember, don't forget. <laughs> it might not have been them at all, it might have been you. But uh, Johnny Winter, one of the sweetest people ever, ever, ever. And, uh, you know, he brought Muddy Waters back to us in a big way, uh, you know, when everyone was forgetting about Muddy. So I, I knew Muddy at that time and his people and his family and his band, uh, you know, the band and my friends works for him. And, uh, and I met Bob Margolin back then and, and, and Pine Top used to let me sit down and play piano if I, if I brought him a Hennessy. <laughs> And he'd let me play the top of the piano. And he would play the bottom of the piano. And Muddy would look over and it's okay, you know. I had to buy Muddy a bottle of champagne for that, but it was okay. <laughs> no, seriously though, uh, Johnny Winter was responsible for, for a lot in my life. Uh, and so we're gonna play a Johnny Winter song now and then just morph into a, uh, <laughs> everything uh, I ever saw at the Fillmore East in one, th one shot, you know. I used to sneak out when I was 13 years old in 1968 and tell my parents I was going to the Yankee game. And then we have to go out and, and do an intermission between bands and say, the game's going into extra innings. We're, you know, they didn't even think of turning the TV on. It was okay. They were kind of glad we were out of the house.
got my ticket My trunk's already gone You ought to know by that I ain't gonna be here long Lord, fast like that
too A long time ago Yes, I should have quit you, baby A long time ago I wouldn't be here now, people Down on the killing floor If I to follow my first mind, I wouldn't be here now, people. My second time, I should have been gone. When my friend said, "Come on to Mexico with me," should have been gone. My friend said. I wouldn't be here on a killing floor. It's a very important word that we need to think. Spontaneity. Spontaneity, yeah. It, that's, that's yeah. one of the beautiful things about playing with Jimmy. Mark and I always talked about this because we played a bunch in different different settings. But this guy is spontaneous, and he's got an encyclopedic knowledge of music, so he, he draws from that. But the spontaneity and the listening, you know, that's that's where it's really fun, and that's the tradition of the blues, really. Well, yeah, for sure. And and scarfing up probably one of the best rhythm sections in well, New England. Well, I mean, uh, look. In this room tonight. I was lucky. Uh, I was lucky because uh, when Al Cooper moved up here and he needed to find musicians, uh, he went through quite a few before he found these two guys. And then once he had them all, then I took them. And, uh, <laughs> and, and that's no, really, we, had a, we have a band together, Al and, 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 J and Jesse and Mark and I, uh, that you know, Al is uh, you know kind of retired now. Completely, he's he's doing radio shows at home for for uh, you know like satellite radio, and he's putting all his record collection and his history into these shows. So um, we couldn't even get him to come out here tonight. So it's okay. Uh, I got these guys in the, in yeah, the you, divorce. You did okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We write we write what we know about. So. Um, this is a song about uh, addictions. I'll just tell y'all, just roll right there. I'm gonna hit the bands. This is this is our rehearsal too and our take. Look out for that 6-4 trap, don't fall on it. Sometime you need a little something. for 
Before I can't continue, I'm so alone. I can't live without my baby. Still, my baby's gone. I woke up early one morning About the break of day I saw the taxi When it rolled away Had my baby She left me on my own Without my baby Still my baby's gone
I'm going down to the river Go out with the tide Without my baby Life is suicide I can't continue In this world alone I can't live without my baby Still my baby's gone by the great Percy Mayfield, who's just the poet of the blues. Right?
a drum.
This is one more by Dr. John. Uh, this is not by Mac Revenek. This is by Dr. John, the night tripper. <laughs> He had a guy on stage, he used to have this guy, the chicken man on stage that played percussion, but he also had like, you know the way, uh, you know the way wind chimes look, right? Well, it was all bones, like different bones hanging, like you know, skeleton bones. Of what? I don't know. And this is called uh, Black Widow Spider.
66. They put up a super highway, ain't no place to get your kicks. I walk 500 miles. Thanks again, Bill, for having us, and uh, we'll see you all next time, hopefully.